morning, yogis. Welcome to today's practice. This week, I want you to try and do something a little different. I wanted to do more of kind of a yoga conditioning where we're working on specific drills to work on shoulder strength and, um, and we won't be working on flexibility, um, wrist strength, wrist flexibility, and just general like hips, hip stability um, through like kind of more drills than it is going to be flowy. So this is something I've never done before. So we'll still kind of warm up with um, my normal sort of flow warming up and then we're going to kind of go through some drills. So it's going to be less vinyasa, though I might kind of have to throw one in there when we just need a break and just need to kind of hone it in and take a breath. Um, so let's, let's see how it goes. This should be fun. Um, let's get started. So we're going to start um, Sitting at the front. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. Let's try it sitting, like start kneeling. I think I've done this before. So you're going to tuck your toes um, and then sit back on your heels. If you need a block, you can always take one of your blocks and kind of just put it right underneath your hips um, if you need something a little more higher to sit on. But this is going to be a pretty intense stretch on the ball of your feet. It's a great stretch if you. Um, if you battle with um, plantar fasciitis, um, and it's pretty intense, but it's a, I think this is a good way to kind of start a class like this. Um, go ahead and close your eyes, roll your shoulders down your back, hands can just be relaxed on your thighs. Try not to think too much about how intense this stretch is, but take your mind into yourself, focus on your breathing, Start to slow that breathing down. If you need to come out of the stretch, you can absolutely come out of the stretch, but it is going to feel so good on the bottom of your feet when you're done. You're gonna feel strong. <laughs> Remember to pull that low belly in as you exhale. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Palms come together overhead and then pull down in front of your heart. Set your intention for today, even though we're doing a drills kind of conditioning class, you should still have kind of an intention, something to connect within your mind. Close your eyes open. Go ahead and come up forward and then untuck your toes for just a moment. Walk your knees back. Um, keep your knees together here and just shift back into an easy child's pose. Knees can be wide or close together, whatever feels good to you, but now you'll get a little bit of a counter stretch on the tops of your feet. So we're going to go ahead and start here with one of the drills that I like. So I like to kind of come up on my fingertips so my forearms are lifted. And you're going to shrug your shoulders up towards your ears as much as you can. And then pull those shoulder blades down, almost like you're trying to drag your fingertips towards you, but you don't. And your spine is going to go grow super long as you do that. And then shrug your shoulders. Exhale, grow nice and long. Pull those fingertips. Don't actually move your fingertips. Keep them dug into the, into the mat. Inhale. Shrug those shoulders. Exhale. Lengthen that spine out nice and long. So here you're getting kind of a lat workout as well as your forearms are engaged. Your, the arches of your hands are engaged. Keep going at your own pace. And warm up your hands, warm up your wrists. Mm 
Warm up the scapula. And one more time, and exhale, pull those shoulder blades down your back. Next in a neutral position. And then lower your hands down, fingers spread wide, come up on the hands and knees here. And let's move through a couple of rounds of cat cow. So inhale, uh, drop your belly, lift your head, exhale, round your spine, push your shoulder blades away. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow, drop that belly. Collarbones nice and wide on the cow pose. Exhale, round those back. Push your shoulder blades away. One more round here. Exhale, the cat. Now we're gonna do some wrist warm-ups. So bring your hands a little bit closer to you. And we're just gonna keep your fingertips facing forward and you're just gonna rock back and forth. Kind of get a little stretch of the wrist and then move back, forward and back. Keeping your fingertips really wide. This is a good wrist warm up. And then you're going to turn your fingertips backwards so they're pointing towards your knees. Same idea, shift that weight back and then forward. So now you're going to get a big wrist extensor stretch here. Excuse me, wrist flexor stretch. And then put your fingertips so they're pointing out towards the sides of your mat and shift side to side. Feel how that different parts of your wrists are getting engaged here. And then point your fingers in towards each other, thumbs towards your knees, same idea. Side to side, just staying right up and over your, your wrists on, with your shoulders. And then just for a counter stretch, you're going to bring your hands a little closer and then point your fingers towards you, but put the backs of your hands on your mat and sit back. This one's a lot more intense, so just beware. And then go ahead and sit back on your feet again. Let's do that stretch again with our feet tucked, just one more time. And then you're just gonna make fists with your hands and then just roll your wrists outward. And then switch directions, roll them the other way. Trying to get that full range of motion. You've stretched them. Now we wanna activate those muscles. Getting another little nice stretch in our feet here while we stretch out our wrists and rock it forward. Um, walk your knees back, but just a little bit. Shift your weight forward. Drop your chest and chin down to the floor. Elbows are um, squeezing in your, your tailbone still up in the air. Getting a good little thoracic stretch here. And then shift it forward into a um, prep for cobra pose. Feet can be flat, toes, toes are tucked. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, back down to your belly. Inhale, cobra, roll those shoulder blades back. Elbows squeezing in tight to your sides. Exhale, down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, back down. One more time, inhale, roll those shoulder blades down and back. Exhale all the way down. Let's put 
that right hand out to the side, straight out from your side, like you're making a T. Keep your left hand right by your chest. And then we're gonna push, open, opening up that right pec muscle. You can drop that left foot behind you, up on your toe for support. Head can be up or resting on the floor, whatever feels good for your neck. You definitely don't wanna be straining here. To your belly, extend that left hand out to the side, push with your right hand, open up that left pec muscle. And then come back to center, press up to cobra again, back up onto your hands and knees, tuck your tippy toe, uh, tuck your toes. Push up into your first downward facing dog. Pedal your legs out. Bending one knee, pushing one heel down. And then switch. Bend the other knee, push the other heel down towards the floor. And then do that a few times just to kind of really stretch those calves out. And then find some stillness in your downward facing dog. Make sure, and then kind of do your body scan. Make sure your fingers are wide. Shoulders are externally rotating, so you're trying to face those creases of your elbows forward. Low belly's pulled up and in. Quads are engaged. Head is relaxed, but you're gazing about through your ankles. Take an inhale here, and then exhale, round your spine, pull it forward into a plank pose. Find your stillness in your plank, pulling that low belly up and in, belly button towards your spine, collarbones are staying wide, energy shooting out those, the heels through the crown of your head, and you're as straight, straight, straight as can be. And then bend your knees a lot, push yourself back like you're pushing your hips towards your heels. And then straighten those legs up back into a downward facing dog. We're going to do some undulations like that a few times. So you're going to inhale, exhale, pull forward the plank. Inhale, bend those knees, push the feet back all the way. Straighten your knees, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, pull. Forward to plank, bend the knees, push all the way back. Hips go up, downward facing dog. Keep going on your own breath, just undulating that spine as liquid as you can. Like you're a wave in the ocean. Try and feel each spine, spinal segment undulating one at a time. Walk your hands back and then after your last one and end up in a forward fold at the back of your mat. Bend your knees a lot. Grab opposite elbows. Let that low back release. Sway to side to side. When you're ready, roll. 
roll the shoulder blades back, palms forward, all four corners of your feet grounded down, belly in, crowning your head, reaching up towards the sky. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, and then exhale, bow forward over your leg, hands through heart center. Forward fold. Inhale to a flat back to lengthen. Exhale, forward fold one more time, and then walk your hands back down. All the way to plank here. Now we're going to do some tricep or some chaturanga push ups here. So obviously, you know what chaturanga is, okay? But instead of going all the way down and swooping up through up dog, you're going to push back up to plank. So down to chaturanga, elbows squeezing in. Pull that core in, push up towards plank. Chaturanga. Push it up. Chaturanga. Push it up. Stay with your breath. One breath in for which, for exhale, down to chaturanga. Inhale as you push it up. When you push back up to plank, make sure you're staying strong in that core and you're not losing that engagement. Chaturanga. Plank. Chaturanga. Plank. Let's do two more. Chaturanga. Plank. One more. Chaturanga. Plank. And then push back. Down facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up towards the sky. Keep your hips super square here. Keep holding that low belly in. Feeling that stretch in that left hamstring. Roll that toe down towards the ground. Inhale, exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Inhale, left leg, right leg up, excuse me. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Inhale, right knee, right leg up. Exhale, right knee to left tricep. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee to nose. Hover here. Find some space, as much space as you can, and try and set your right foot down between your palms without shifting your weight. Set that left knee down on the floor and come up into your low lunge. Hips are square here. Exhale, bring your hands down to the floor. Tuck your toes, knee, left knee up off the floor. Inhale, press that lunge. Hips nice and square, pulling that right hip back into the socket. Left hip pulling forward, low belly pulling in. Arms strong. Step all the way up, left foot up to the front of your mat. Hands into heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold all the way over. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms and the left foot back, right foot back. Let's do chaturanga. We can inhale through up dog again. Exhale, down facing dog. Inhale that left leg up towards the sky. Hip square. Inhale that left leg as high as you can. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, left leg up. 
Exhale, left knee to left tricep. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee to right tricep. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee to nose again. Hold it. Hover, hover, hover. Find as much space underneath you, pushing those shoulder blades away and try and set that left foot down without lifting your hands. And then set that right leg down. Untuck your toes. Hands up overhead. Inhale. Down to the mat, tuck your right toes, left, right knee up, inhale, cross and lunge, squaring out those hips, strong front leg, strong back leg, strong core, strong arm. Step all the way up, right feet and foot meets the left at the top. Hands come to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms out and overhead. And then swan dive, fold over the legs. Forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms and then right foot back. Left foot back to meet as a plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up out. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's go through three rounds of sun salutation A. So, on your next inhale, raise, raise up on your tippy toes, look between your palms. Exhale, jump for step forward into front of your mat. Inhale, forward, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Roll all the way up, arms overhead, hands meet up our center. Exhale. Inhale, reach the arms out and up again. Exhale, swan dive all the way over the legs. Forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palm, jump or step. Move through your vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down facing dog. Three breaths here. Next inhale, raise up on your tippy toes. Bend the knees, look between your palms. Exhale, jump or step to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach to rise in, arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms. Jump, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, recover. Exhale, down, facing dog. Three breaths. One more round, inhale up on tippy toes. Look between your palms, exhale, jump. Step to the front of your mat. Then inhale, up the, uh, oh, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up all the way up on the sweep. Out and up overhead, hands meet, heart center, exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive down. Forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, clean the palms. Step back, or step or jump. Move for your banana. Exhale, lay all knee back down, downward facing dog. We're going to move on to our next drill. This is, you can do two variations of this. You can do top jumps where you're just, or like kind of donkey kicks, where you're just jumping up, trying to kick yourself in the butt. Trying to just get some hang time. Feel what it's like. If that's too hard, the next way it might be easier to get your hips forward is doing like a diamond shape with your feet. 
So you're bringing your the soles of your feet together as you jump and your knees are going out wide. So whichever one feels good to you, we're going to do wherever you are, how many you've done, we're going to do 10 jumps together. So inhale up on your toes, back, kick your butt, back down. Inhale up on your toes, shift back, jump forward, kick your butt, back down, that's two. Inhale, forward, kick your butt, land, that's three. Inhale on your toes, push back, jump, kick your butt, that's four. Inhale, five, land. Inhale, six, land. Inhale, seven. Are you getting a little longer hold? Inhale, jump, eight. Two more. Inhale, jump, kick your butt. Nine. Inhale, jump, ten. Good job. Come down on your knees for just a moment. Lay back in child's pose, arms down by your side.
Inhale here. Exhale, pull that left knee into your elbow. Then exhale, push back down, facing dog. Open that hip this time. Shift to the outer edge of your right foot. Tap that left, right, left foot behind you. Left arm over by your ear. Lift that left foot up, tap your knee. Tap in front, tap your knee, tap behind. Keep lifting those hips up high. Tap your knee, tap in front, tap your knee, tap behind. Tap your knee, tap in front, tap your knee, tap behind one more time. Tap your knee, then pull that left foot forward into your runner's lunge. Come up into the arm to your fingertips. Hips super square. Low belly pulled in. Your chest is not just hanging and laying on your left thigh, but you're engaged. You're using your back strength here. And then when you're ready, float those hands back behind you by your hips. And then hold. Set your hands down, plant that right hand and open that left arm open to easy twist and lunge. Set that left foot that hand down, send your left foot back to meet it. Meet your right and downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. Let's actually go through one more. Like we'll do a sun salutation A. Just to move through the vinyasa. So inhale up on your tiptoes. Look between your palms. Jump or step forward in between your palms. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, root to rise all. All the way up to standing. Hands come down, heart center, exhale. Inhale, sit down, flat back. Exhale, swan back over the legs. Forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palm, jump or step back. Plank and turn on the Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to kind of add on to that last flow a little bit. So instead of staying in place, we're going to move into a wild thing. And then we're going to kind of pull through into a fall and triangle. So if you need to watch the first one, that's fine. If you don't know what to do, and that's fine, you can just then rewind it, okay? So you're going to lift that right leg up towards the sky, open the hip. Keeping those shoulders super square. Then shift to the outer edge of your left foot. Lift that right arm up. Arch back. Wild thing pose. Stretch. Feel that left, right hip flexor opening up. Feel your heart opening up. Then shift forward. Bring it back, three legged dog. Square those hips. Inhale here, exhale. Pull the right knee to your left elbow, extend that right foot out, right outside of your left hand, shift to the arch side of your left foot, lift the left hand up for palm triangle, keep pushing those hips up high, collarbones wide, and turn, plant the left hand, Shift it back up, downward facing dog. Three leg, three legged dog actually. Set your right foot down. If you watched that one, go ahead and rewind it a few steps and watch it again. 
holding it. So the next time we're going to go through three times, just one breath per motion. So when you're ready, raise that right leg up towards the sky. Open the hip. Drop that foot down. Wild thing pose. Then come back through. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Our inhale, excuse me. Right. Use that left elbow. Shoot it out to the side. Own triangle. Inhale. Exhale, left hand down, back, downward facing dog. Open that right hip, shift it out, wild thing pose. Open that hip, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg, right leg up, exhale, pull that right knee to the left elbow, shoot it out to the side. Shift over to the fallen triangle, inhale, exhale, left hand down. Pull that knee back into your chest. Exhale, down facing dog. Open the hip one more time. Shift it out. Wild thing pose. Inhale. Stretch. You're stretching this wild thing pose yet. Then inhale, bring it back. Three like a dog. Exhale. Right knee, left tricep. Shoot that foot out. Open it up. Triangle pose. Fall in triangle. Inhale. Exhale that left leg, bent hand down. Pull that knee into your chest. Right leg up, downward facing dog on your exhale. Then let's pull it through your chest. Set your foot down. Spin that um, left heel down. Let's go ahead and bring it into warrior two. Just to give the arms a break and the wrists a break for some standing poses. Check your alignment in your warrior two. Make sure you're holding that low belly in. You straighten your right leg out. Turn the toes forward. Hands are going to come to palm, front, palm center. And then turn your left foot out just a little bit. And shift down into Skandasana. Right toes can turn out or you can leave it flat. Whatever feels better for your knee. But you're not sinking all the way down. And you're trying to hold it up so your hips are supporting you. And then without coming all the way to stand, shift it through a squat over to the right side. And then without coming up, shift over back to the left side. One more time to the right side. One more time to the left side. And then shift, go ahead and put your palms down there, facing the back of your mat. You're on your left foot. Let's um, shift uh, that left leg back up into a three-legged dog here. Hold that three-legged dog. Hold that core nice and tight. And then pull that knee into your chest. Set that left knee down. Come up. Crescent lunge on the left side. And then you're going to open it up. Turn that right foot out. So now you're facing the side. Bring your arms in a heart center elbow. And we're going to do lift your right heel up. Lift your left heel up. Pop, pop that right heel, left heel, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now both. One, two, three, four, five, go for ten, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 
shoot those arms up, star pose for a moment, and then cartwheel those hands over the right leg. Step that left foot forward just a moment. Oh, should feel that left calf getting a stretch. And then shift that right foot up. You're gonna kind of a shorter down dog here, so let's do some kick switches. Kick up, hands in, land with your right foot. Kick up, all the way, turn to that. Keep going. Let's do 10 handstands here. Run three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> one more, ten, and then step back to plank. Move through a vinyasa. We're going to repeat that on the right, I mean on the left side. Ready guys? Here we go. Left leg up, three legged dog. Open the hip. Shift forward now into your wild thing pose. Bring that foot behind you as far as you can. Arch the back. Feel that. Left hip flexor and stretch. Feel your heart opening. And then shift forward. Back into three legged dog. Inhale. Exhale. Left knee to the right elbow. Shoot that leg out to the side. Come to the arch side of your right foot. Reach that right arm up towards the sky. Push those hips up towards the sky. Lower that right hand. Shift it back. Down the facing dog. Inhale. Open the leg. We're doing one breath per motion. Wild thing pose, inhale, exhale, left foot down, inhale, three-legged dog, exhale, left knee to right elbow, shoot it out, inhale, or fall in triangle, exhale, right hand down, pull that knee into your chest, three-legged dog, inhale, exhale, wild thing, stretch it back, inhale, Exhale, left hand down, three legged dog, inhale. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Shoot that foot out, come to the arch. Inhale, right leg up, or right arm up. Exhale, right hand comes down, pull it in. Three legged dog, inhale. Exhale, last one. Wild thing. Open that heart, inhale. Exhale. Three-legged dog, inhale, exhale, all right, your left knee, right elbow, shoot it out, inhale, right arm up, I'll triangle, exhale, shoot it back, three-legged dog, and then pull that knee through, set your foot down, spin your back heel, and open it up, warrior two, ooh, Check your alignment. Slow your breathing. Straighten that left knee. Turn your toes in. Arms come up. Down to heart center. And lower down towards the right leg, skandhasana. Then shift it over without coming all the way to standing. Back over to the left, skandhasana. Shift it back over to the right. 
Shift it back over to the left. Oh, okay. Then what did we do? And then straighten your arms. Oh, I don't remember what I did. Let's go over. I think we got over to the back of the mat. Hands down. And your next inhale, come up, press and lunge. And stay in that squat, turn that left leg out, both feet turned out, hands to heart center, hop one foot, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, one more, right, left, now both, both, two, three, four, Five, pushing those knees back. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Shoot up, star pose, and then carve your hands over that left foot. Bring that right foot in for a pyramid pose. A little stretch here. Plant your palms, sweep that left leg up. Ten kick switches, ready to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more, 10, and then go through a vinyasa. Knee in, down dog, and then once you're ready, put those knees down, shift back, child pose for a few breaths. There's one more flow for you guys, and then we'll do some abs, and then we'll be done. Oh, well, we'll do some abs and some bridges, and then we'll be done. I want you guys to be sore after this. I know you work those muscles that are going to help your hamstrings and help your practice. So, you might be cursing me now. And you might be cursing me tomorrow, but that's okay. And you just kick up into my hamstring, that's no big deal. You'll be like, oh, thank you. <laughs> and when that day comes, make sure you come back and leave a comment on this video. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys ready? This is going to be kind of a thigh and butt burner. Are you ready for it? We haven't really done much for the legs and the hip stability. So, think we're ready? Okay, I think we're ready. And this might be a core burner too. Okay, here we go. Cut back up in your dog because you know, I have to go wipe my hands off. I'm actually slipping on my mat. I'm so sweaty, which never happens. I mean, this mat is really good and doesn't usually, doesn't usually slip, but today, my eyes are sweaty. So, what we're going to do, inhale up on your tippy toes, shift back, jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Drop your hips, bend the knees. Inhale, chair pose. Inhale, slowly and exhale, slowly in your chair pose. Feel your core engage. Shift your weight onto your right leg. And then we'll step the left leg back. 
crescent lunge, inhale, straighten that back up. And shift forward just a little bit, step that right left leg back in. Chair pose. Shift your weight to your left leg. Shoot that right leg back, crescent lunge. Inhale, straighten that back. Exhale. Shift your weight forward, back to chair. Stand up, bring your hands to palms, palms to heart center. Lift your right leg up. Knee to chest, flex your foot. Extend your right leg out long. Shift it back. Bow forward. Warrior three. Hands can stay in prayer center here. And bend that left knee. Set it down. Press the lunge, arms overhead. Shift your weight forward. Keep your arms overhead. Now shift forward again. Warrior three. On your left. Square those hips off. Now you're going to bend your left knee, tap your right knee to your outer calf, then extend your back warrior through. We're going to do that three times. Bend and tap, keeping that back flat. Extend warrior three. One more time. Bend, extend, then come all the way up, standing. Arms overhead, I mean behind your back. Let's clasp your hands behind your back. Pull your shoulder blades down and bow forward over your feet, over your feet, over your legs. First shoulder touch in the forward fold. Then drop your hands down to the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, drop your feet, bend your knees. Bring it up. Chair pose. Straighten it up, bring your hands to heart center. Pull that left knee up towards your chest, flex your foot. Extend that leg out, hold it there. Then bow forward, sweep that leg straight back. Warrior three, standing on your right leg. Shift, bend your right knee a lot. Send that foot back, press the lunge, inhale, arms up. Shift that weight forward, lunge forward, now warrior three, arms overhead. Bend that right knee, tap the left to the calf, extend it back out, one. Bend the right knee, tap the calf, extend it back out, two. One more time. Bend that knee. Extend it back out. Three. And then what do we do? We come up. Clasp your hands. Try and clasp opposite finger in front that you kicked last time. Pull those shoulder blades down. Bow forward with your legs. Relax your neck. Drop your hands up by your side. Inhale, flat back. Plant your palms. Step back to plank. Move through vinyasa. But don't get too comfortable. Because we're going to do that sequence one more time. When you're ready, inhale. Look between your palms. Jump or step up to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, drop the hips. Chair pose. Arms are strong. Breathe in your chair pose. Shift your weight to your right leg. Step that left foot back, press the lunge. Inhale, back comes up right. Then shift the weight forward. 
Chair pose. Shift your weight to your left leg. Shoot that right leg back. Inhale, press and lunge. Arms up. Exhale, bring it back. And stand back up, arms. Hands come heart center. Lift that right leg up, knee to chest. Flex that foot. Kick that right leg out straight. Hold it. Pulse. Try and lift it higher each time. One, two, three, four, five. Then swing that right leg straight back. Bow forward. Flat back to a warrior three. Hands can stay in purse. Prayer here. Bend that left knee, set the right foot down. Inhale, arms up. Whoop. Press and lunge. Lean forward, launch forward. Warrior three, arms overhead. Bend the left knee, tap the leg. Inhale, extend. Bend that left knee, tap the right leg. Exhale, extend. Inhale, arms. One more time, bend, stretch, this time bow forward into a three-legged, three-legged, into a uh, stand split. Feeling that left hip really burn, square in your hips. And then pull that right knee to the outside of your left foot. Sit back, down, sit down. Make sure your weight's even on both legs. And let's just twist it out over that left hip for a moment. And then shift your weight forward. Come up to your hands. And then just set your right foot down by your left. Inhale, flat back, exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, drop the hips, arms up, last chair pose of the day. I don't know why I did that actually, straighten up, hands go to heart center, <laughs> lift the left knee up towards the chest, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in, flex the foot, keep your belly nice and tight, extend that left leg up. Keep it up there. Let's pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then swing it back. Extend out. Warrior three. Bend that right knee. Set that left foot back. Arms up. Cross and lunge. Inhale. Shift your weight forward, launch back up, warrior three. Stretch it out, square your hips. Take an inhale here, exhale, left knee taps right calf. Inhale, exhale, tap the calf. Inhale, exhale, tap the calf, last one. Inhale, and then go ahead and drop your hands. Then you're in your standing split on the right leg. Keep your hips square here. Right hip still working. And then go ahead and bring that left knee to the outside of your right foot. Make sure it's both sitting, bones are down on the ground. Inhale, and then exhale, twist over that right leg. Twist it. Go ahead and just set that left foot right by your right. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. 
Bend the knees, root to rise. Come all the way up to standing. Arms overhead. Hands meet the prayer center. One more time, reach your arms out and up. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. We're going to do some crow drills real quick. Well, since we have time, so there's a couple different drills I want us to work on, okay? So, the closest you can get your hands to your feet, if you can get your hands to your feet really easily without feeling pain, then bring them forward a little bit. And then straighten your arms out. And then you're going to come up on your tippy toes here. Just watch first. You're going to tap your right foot to your right wrist 10 times. So tap with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep pushing the floor away. Nine, ten. Bend your knees for just a second. And then straighten your legs back up. Fingertips wide. Bend your elbows, stretch your cat or your hamstrings out just a little bit. Then straighten those elbows. Push the floor away. Push your shoulder blades apart. And then we're going to come up on your tippy toes. Tap the left toes to the left wrist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My, my quad is killing me. Bend those knees for just a moment. Then lift the hips one more time. Exhale, forward fold. Now we're going to do another toe tap drill, but more in crow pose. So, in crow poses in your practice, you're going to bend those knees, put your, your knees as high up into your armpits or on your triceps as you can, and then shift forward so those feet come off the ground. Your, knee, your elbows can be bent here. Pull that core up. Oop. I have another crow pose in the lap. <laughs> Find your crow pose first. Be gazing in front of your hands. And the same thing. Tap your right knee, right wrist with your toes. Left wrist. I don't know if we can do it ten times, but just do as many as you can. Right. Oh, that's great. I did something like that. I got three. If you got more, good job. I'm just getting a major cream in my ass. Okay, Whew. all right, guys. I'm literally dropping sweat. As, like, it's just nuts. Okay, so I hope you are too. Go ahead and come to a seated position. Feet out front, arms overhead. Shift all the way forward. Forward fold. Feel like you're pulling your spine long, not rounding your back. I'm going to grab a block or a weight or nothing. It doesn't have to be anything. And you're going to pull your knees and your feet up off the floor in boat pose. You're going to hold your block this way if you have a block. And you're going to rotate like Russian twists. Tap your block side to side. Keeping your knees bent here first. Gotta do a little abs, right guys? And we'll stretch it out with some bridges. I didn't do any dolphin push-ups, that was my other goal, but I think I don't want to kill anybody today. I mean, I don't really want to kill myself. I'm seriously so sweaty. Keep going with these twists, you got it. And then go ahead and hold, hold that block behind your thighs for a second. Find that spine neutral. Kind of pull yourself nice and tall. And then straighten your legs if you can. And bend them. Straighten and bend. Keep pulling your chest towards that upper corner. Straighten the leg and bend. Shoulder blades down and bend. Good. Go ahead and place that block right between your knees and then lower all the way down to the floor. Oh. You just keep your knees bent so they're almost like at a tabletop position. Okay? 
You're gonna inhale, exhale, really bringing your shoulder blades off the floor, fingertips reaching down, squeezing the block. Flex your feet if you need a little bit more. If you're squeezing the block really hard with your with your knees, feel how that makes the pelvic floor turn on. Then you're gonna bring your left hand to the outside of your right thigh and then bring it back to center. Right hand to the outside of your left thigh. Bring it back to center. Left, I mean, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> left hand moves, center. Right hand moves, center. Keep those shoulder blades off the floor. Keep squeezing that block. Inside. Um, just keep your knees bent and feet flat on the floor. We're going to do a bridge and then a full wheel if you have full wheel in your practice. I know some of you do because you've been working on it. So congratulations if you're doing full wheel and you never thought you could. That's awesome. Honestly, the pose is going to help you the most. I think opening your shoulders is. Um, to help you get into wheel is dolphin and so we should have done it today, but I just Now I'm like regretting it, but we did do a lot today. So Anyways, when you're ready lift your hips up Feet flat on the floor clasp those hands underneath you roll those shoulder blades under press the arms and the palms into the floor Pull your low belly in Breathe keep your knees aligned so they're not splaying out to the side Weight through the ball of your big toe. And then lower down nice and easy. Somehow I got my arms on top of my mat. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Ready for a full wheel when you are. So feet flat on the floor. Graze the back of your heels with your thumbs. Make sure you're nice and close. Inhale to your bridge. Stay here if you want to do another bridge or follow me along, arms overhead. Hands right by your ears. Push up and then inhale, top your head. Then straighten those arms. If you're in wheel and you want another fun challenge, do some wheel push-up since we didn't do dolphin. Or don't, or just come down. I think I did like three, because I'm literally so spent. Bend your knees, pull your knees to your chest. And then lower down, make your way to Shavasana. Stay in Shavasana as long as you want. But I think FedEx is here and it's my mind. I gotta go. So stay in Shavasana as long as you want. You're still in Shavasana. <laughs> Go ahead and roll to your side. It wasn't my wine. If you're still with me, I apologize. <laughs> Come on, way, All the way up to a seated position. Fold the legs 
legs are folded in a crisscross position. If you needed some other twists, I hope you did that. I may have to run up and get a package. I apologize. Very unprofessional. Notice how your body feels differently. Bring your hands in the heart center. Give yourself some grace for what you want to be able to accomplish but aren't quite there yet, but that you came and you tried. Give yourself a big round of applause for the things that you didn't think you could accomplish and you did. And just remember to be gentle with yourself in your head and in your words and how you speak to yourself and carry that feeling with you throughout your day. And it will change how you speak with others and how you treat others, including your family and your friends and total strangers. So go with grace. Namaste.